All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the semifinals. Four teams have advanced on. Every single one of these teams has scored over 300 points. Holy cow. Who would have thought? This thing that, like, the amount you need to advance into the semis was higher than anything else at World Championships. Now, I know there's two extra cans, but that's an incredible feat to have. So, teams get reseeded on how they get sent out of the field, but we're still going to represent them in the actual alliance that they originally drafted in. So on red, we have our number three seed alliance. On blue, we have our number one seed alliance. With that said, we got some great teams to meet once again. Please welcome team number 118. From League City, Texas, the Robonauts. Joining them, it's all about 1640. Out of Downington, Pennsylvania, Sabotage. Rounding up the Atatus Machine, 28-26. Out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Wave Robotics. Number one seed, huge match. They're making it in the semis. Let's see if they can do a repeat. 36-41. Out of South Lion, Michigan, the Flying Toasters. Alliance Partners, 11-14. From St. Catharines, Ontario, Symbotics. And rounding it up. Number one seed, here we go, baby, 17-30. From Lee Summit, Missouri, team driven. We got a green light, drivers behind the line. One thing to mention before we start here, folks, each alliance will play three matches, and we'll take the average of those three matches, take the top two in the finals. So, semifinal final number one, drivers behind the line, ready. Three, two, one, rush. All right, here we go. Semi-final one underway. Two containers brought over by each alliance. Symbotics for blue. Sabotage for red. Bonus points as well. It's going to look like 28 for the red alliance. 20 for the blue. You get bonus points in alliance. If you have a threat in the autonomous, if you get a set of three totes, and they've got three yellow totes, and or if you get a set of three recycling containers, which they had on the red side. So 28 to 20 was the score at the end of autonomous. The drivers now have control. We're well into the teleoperator mode. Little more than a minute and a half remaining. 96 seconds, stack of six over on the red side, a stack of five, six over on the blue side as well. No topper on that blue one though. There's your second stack of six over on blue. Flying toasters dropping that one off. And now here come three stacks almost simultaneously for red. Sabotage and wave drop them off. Here come the Robonauts dropping it off as well. So now they've got four on the red side. There are four over on blue as well. We go under a minute, 55 seconds remain in this match. The first semi-final match. Each alliance of the four that made it to the semis will get three opportunities to play in the semis. We will take the average of those three Matches for each one of the alliances. The top two make it to the finals. Uh-oh! The Symbotics had a stack of six totes, but it dropped over and fell over on its side for the blue. Tough break for the blue alliance. But as you can see, both alliances putting together a big number of stacks, both red and blue. We go down to 12 seconds remaining in the match. We're coming to the end. We're going to start off our semis with a high score. Oh, Wave also dropping one over. They were trying to score, but they dropped it over. Two seconds. One. And time expires. Semi-final one. A mishap by both the Blue Alliance and the Red Alliance with a stack that fell over. But nonetheless, a lot of stacking being done by both. So you got six stacks and maybe a couple miscellaneous totes on the red side. You've got 
eight stacks over on the blue side. Some of them don't have containers on top. Referees tabulating the score. And we'll get back to you momentarily with this one. Okay, looks like we've got some official numbers for our first semifinal match. Let's score at 287, the Red Alliance, 226 for Blue. So after our crazy end for the quarterfinal, that sounds like, and it seems like a lower scoring semifinal entry, but those are still pretty good scores. Let's kick it up to Colin and Danny upstairs. All right, semifinal one. We saw some tough breaks there for both sides. Uh, I guess let's start on the red side. What'd you see from them? Well, the red side had a really late drop. Um, thankfully, it didn't cascade and knock over any other um, stacks. Um, but that kind of got in their way, jostled them up. What it looked like was Wave got hung up as they were trying to place it. Sabotage was driving around behind them. I don't know if that kind of hindered things or made it worse. Then Wave got stuck. Sabotage had to come and help try to move them a little bit. And that's when the stack went over. So just really kind of weird, unfortunate circumstances. Um, but it's semifinals. All of the averages are reset, and we plan, you know, start all over. Yeah, and I guess the nice thing there is that both alliances will get two more matches yes. instead of the one that they got in quarterfinals. On the blue side, what did you see there? Well, it looked like they were kind of showing some signs of, you know, coming right off of the last match in quarterfinals. They had, a, you know, the quickest turnaround. So maybe that kind of affected them. They just didn't seem to have that polish. They also dropped a stack, and they had a recycling container fall off. So that polish that we saw from their last quarterfinal match just wasn't there. 